As we just heard, it is going to be hot on the lakes and rivers all across Mid Michigan today, and the Ingham County Sheriff's Office will be one of the many departments looking to keep people safe. Its marine unit says the biggest problem they deal with on the water, especially during holiday weekends, is alcohol. Sheriff's deputies say they just want to make sure people have a good time in the safest way possible. We're not there to write tickets. We're there for safety. We're there to make sure everybody uh, goes home safe. A lot of people don't know the general boating requirements and rules are out there. So just review those. Some things to keep in mind while you're out on the boat today. Make sure you wear a life jacket, especially kids and pets. Use plenty of sunscreen, especially on a day like today. And be sure to mix in some water between those alcoholic beverages to stay hydrated as well. Police say a man was distracted behind the wheel when he rolled his car on I-96 Sunday morning in Williamston. It happened just before 7 a.m. in the westbound lanes between Williamston and Meridian Roads. State police say the man lost control and rolled his vehicle several times. He was taken to the hospital, but his injuries are not believed to be serious. No other vehicles were involved. And nobody was hurt when part of a train malfunctioned in Lansing yesterday afternoon. It happened right around 2 o'clock on Waverly and Mount Hope Road. The train was carrying coal when three of its cars tipped. This accident caused traffic to back up in the area. No word on what caused the train to malfunction. The number of damaged lead and water service lines buried in the city of Flint is more than previously thought. Flint officials say there are about 14,000 lines that remain buried. Now that is roughly 15% more than previously thought. The city says it does not believe the new estimate will require work to replace the lines to go beyond next year. It also says crews are running ahead of schedule so far this year. A local school district will use this Memorial Day to say goodbye to one of its buildings. Dansville schools have a community open house from 1 to 5 today to say goodbye to its middle school. The school is about 100 years old and will be torn down and rebuilt thanks to a millage proposal passed by voters two years ago. The middle school students will move to the current high school. Coming up next, a U.S. delegation holds talks with North Korean officials in the DMZ. The very latest on the on, off, perhaps on again summit between President Donald Trump and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un when we come right back.